Hello everyone. We need to talk about EV road trips. Do they scare you? Well, they shouldn't. EV ranges are still increasing, but today you can buy an EV with a good amount of range. And while EV charging infrastructure is lacking, to say the least, in some places, don't let that stop you from having a road trip with your beloved EV. Here are our three top tips to ensure you can have a smooth and enjoyable road trip with your EV. And if you have any extra tips, make sure you leave them below in the comments. So it all starts before you even get your EV. Think about, will you be taking long trips very frequently with your electric vehicle? If so, probably opt for one of the long range versions, which is a bigger battery and single rear wheel drive vehicle. Rear wheel drive means better efficiency. Bigger battery means longer range, of course. If you're mostly going to use your EV for short range and the occasional long trip, then the standard version is probably enough for you. Just be sure to take the quoted range with a pinch of salt, whether it's EPA or WLTP, you probably won't hit that quoted range, especially if it's an older vehicle. EVs do require a little more preparation when it comes to road trips. There's no doubt about that. Before you even set off, you want to heat up or cool down your car depending on the weather while you are still plugged in if possible, which can help to save energy when you're on the go. As well as check your tire pressure. Low tire pressures can have a big impact on range, especially over longer distances. Do a quick preview of your trip to see which kind of DC charges are available along your route, how fast they might be and how is their availability. Most EVs now have some kind of integrated route planning, but it's always good to download a couple of third party apps just in case. And it's always good to have a couple of options. You never know if the charge you're headed to could be out of order. So make sure you have a backup just in case. When you are fast charging, just go from 10 to 80%. Anything other than that is gonna slow you down in the long run. By the time it takes you to stretch your legs and grab a coffee, your charging will be more or less finished. Of course, if you're having lunch or visiting sites and have the time for a 100% charge, then go ahead. But if you're on the move and looking for the most effective and efficient way, 10 to 80% is the answer. And it goes without saying, if you are stopping on the way, look for a hotel which has EV charging availability, DC or AC, whatever they can give you. So when you arrive at your vehicle in the morning, it's nice and charged. Yes, high speed, hilly terrains, extreme hot or cold weather, all of that can eat into the range of your EV. So it just means you have to be a bit more conscious of your actions. If you are lucky enough to have them, make sure to use your heated or vent ventilated seats instead of just cracking on the air conditioner and recycle the cabin air as well. This can help with energy over the long run. And did you know that AC in the summer isn't nearly as big of a drain as heating in the winter. Just make sure you can drive in a comfortable and efficient way. More efficiency means less stopping and quicker to your destination. So should you be worried about taking longer trips in your EV? Well, the answer is no. You just need to be more prepared and more conscious about your energy usage. EV ranges continue to increase and charging networks continue to get better, making range anxiety and worrying about long trips with your EV a thing of the past. But we want to hear your EV road trip suggestions and experiences. So make sure you leave something in the comments below to help other EV owners with their long range EV trips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.